did lose a lot there. I mean, he lost some probes. He lost some uh, a zealot in a century. Looks like he's pushing out right now with that void ray. There are some marines here, but Wreck is almost... I don't know what to say at this point. He should be pulling all those SCVs off the line. Be building, building almost like pulling them off to his expansion. Looks like NYQ is going to be going down to see that expansion was there because he saw the SCVs going transferred. There are no marines or anything here to defend against that. Looks like, ooh, NYQ is just going to go to work on those rocks. Very Probably just going to get the charge. Ah, he's charging off of the rocks. Oh, this is what... Okay, so meanwhile, there's another Void Ray sneaking into the mineral line of Rex Main. He is working on getting that um, turret up. That Void Ray is not charged, though, but he is pulling, and I think this Marine, this little Marine Strike Force is going to take out that Void Ray. Oh, no, he pulls it just no. in time. There is not even Stim yet. It is being researched right now, but it's more of a Rax build going on right now, and if he gets Colossus, if he transitions from Void Rays, gets his expansion up, and NYQ goes Colossus, he basically could win this really easily. Looks like Marines are there to take out this Void Ray. Oh, down at the expansion, the Void Ray did get taken out by those Marines. Yeah, meanwhile, this Void Ray up in the main is probably going to get taken out. Oh, Just ooh. barely makes it. 10 health. Makes it with 10. Oh my gosh. He can recharge that shield, though. Yeah, NYQ is just like, well, that didn't work out too well. So right now, I think would be a great timing push for Rex. He could move out with these Marines. I would throw in the SCVs in there as well. Because he could probably win against uh, one Void Ray and a couple Stalkers and Sentries, you know? Uh-huh. So, we have Marauders. No Marauders are being made. Oh, a Ghost Academy is going down. Probably for the Ghost EMP, but other than that, I'm not sure if he'll get nukes. If he gets nukes, it'll be a really interesting game to cast, actually. It looks like the Expo is going down for NYQ, as we're speaking. Now, one EMP, though, to that Void Ray, and it's gone. You know what I mean? It takes away its shield, and it's only got 10 HP left. So, a Zeal... Oh, looks like the Marines are here. There's going to be Force Field and split apart. More Force Fields being wasted, though, on those Marines. It looks like these Marines are going to be stimming, taking this up, taking out these Stalkers, taking out these Sentries. That Void Ray did get taken out. Looks like he's going to be taking... There's a GG from... Oh my gosh, from, from NYQ Gemini. NYQ. So, I'm thinking that Wreck, he's good against the Zerg, so he's probably going to do the same kind of build. He's been just playing really solid lately. Yeah, he's been playing solid against anything. TVT, TVP, TVZ. Very, very solid. Such a solid player, man. So I'm thinking, look, like, I could learn a lot from him. I do, too. I think I might save all of these replays just to, you know, figure out these cool oh little builds. Oh, again, cross positions. So Evo oh, again, Ether, yes. Evo Ether, the challenger, spawning in the bottom left, up here against Wreck, the Red Terran, in the top middle. Um. Also, I'd like to say that this has been very interesting because Wreck has played very solid, and I like everything he's done isn't like predictable at all. It's not the same kind of build. It's very different almost every time. Right. He I mean, a, even yeah. the TVs. He's done different things. He's a very, uh, oh gosh, what is the word for it? Um, well around. Yeah, all around, I guess, uh, flexible, maybe the better word. He's, he's flexible with uh, scouting. I mean, he knows kind of how to respond to each situation. Uh, he knows what to do when a Zerg fast expands, or he knows what to do if a Zerg is going to, like, one base roach. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as Terran. He's very good at TVT matchups as well. And both of the TVTs we saw him do, we never saw him uh, do anything, this, ne never anything similar. He, he had a different build, you know, he had the two racks fast expand that one time. Uh, then on the other TVT, he did the 1-1-1 build, so he's very good at knowing uh, maps, knowing what maps he's on, scouting, and whether they're closed positions or cross positions, all that good stuff. So very interesting, let me go ahead and open up the production tab. We're going to watch from maybe Wild Furies, but probably Rakura's point of view for a minute here. And all that good stuff. Rakura likes to do a lot of like showing what each opponent is doing and everything like that. 
I'm watching it from your point of view, so if you're watching it from someone else's point of view, it's like we're watching it through a huge tunnel. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching it from Raccoon's point of view at the moment. So we're going to see that there's a... Basically, the scouting drones are going to see each other and probably know where they're spawning. The drone and the SCV are going to see each other and know that they're spawning there. That drone is going to go to work on that SCV, making that supply depot to wall off. And that marine is there, probably going to take out that drone before it takes away that SCV's... Oh, nice pop there. So it also looks like there's going to be an SCV going down um, in Rakura's base. Excuse me, not Rakura's base. Um, what's his base? Ether's base. And Rek is going to see that that Overlord is there. He's going to snipe that Overlord. Oh, so. wow, look at that. That would be really, really bad if um, Ether doesn't get down there to fix it or that other marine comes in time to get that overlord and snipe it looks like it's gonna get out of there just barely yes it's gonna get right on out of there yeah we see zerg with the expo up as well knowing that they're cross positions meanwhile we got an scv sitting up here uh probably just for scouting reasons to poke and prod into the zerg's expansion from time to time uh meanwhile we don't see any zergling speed out yet No Zerg speed. Either. Oh, there it is. It just popped out. Yep. Just now getting researched. Very good. Two queens on the way as well. Meanwhile, let's see what kind of build our Terran player is doing. Uh, we got the one Rax factory build, so this is probably going to be the one one one. We might see... He, he is just now getting a second gas, so I think we might see a Banshee opening. However, we do see a Hellion no, coming out of that factory. What I like to do is one base... When you get the factory, you want to throw down that second gas so you can have that gas. I mean, he could be doing Banshee, I'm not for sure, but he sometimes just gets the second gas just for the tanks and the um, medivacs as well if he throws down the starport. Oh, are we going to see a bunker rush from Wreck here? He's pulling an SCV with his little marine army. Uh, we do see that Hellion on the way, and it is going to join up with those marines when it pops Oh, man. Out. It's so fast. It's just like, later. it like just joins up perfectly with them. Yeah, man. Good timing from Wreck there. Oh, see, it's like hip hopping off those marines. Look at this. I think we're going to see a bunker rush here. I think this is going to be a bunker rush. Oh, well, it's not going to be any bunkers because the creep is spread too well. It looks like he's probably just going to have to micro this and kill that queen if possible. The Zergrings are going to be there. The SCV is going to be going into attack. Looks like he's going to be taking out that queen. The Zergrings are going to be there. They're going to be running off of the creep, though, so they're not going to be as fast. Looks like the small little joint point that, that Wreck is going to be using those Hellions and Marines for. To take out very those nice, very nice use of that nice job. And oh, lining up those zerglings perfectly for that hellion. Did you see that? I did. Oh, they lost so much health, but oh, banelings are finally done for mines. Uh, excuse me, ether right now. So he's going to have those banelings, but no banelings speed. Siege tanks are being created as well as the starport is going down. As well as the expansion. Excuse, you know, another barracks. Expansion is going down. Another barracks as well. And two more, ooh, two more barracks, so maybe not a starport, maybe some more marine marauder siege tank? I don't even know. I mean, he did a marine siege tank medivac build last time, but this time he's doing a marine siege tank with more barracks, so I'm not sure what he's going to be throwing on those barracks add-ons. Looks like those Zergans are going to be trying to come up to the base of, of Wreck right now. He is only one basing it. Those Zergings are going to get spotted by those tanks and taken out. The tanks do not have siege mode yet. They do now. Right now they do have the siege mode. He's probably going to siege up those tanks right away. Perfect timing from Rex to siege up those tanks. Going to take that expo as soon as he can. Those Zergings are waiting perfectly for that expo to be taken, though. Expo is going down. Tanks are moving out. Now is a perfect time for the Zergings to move in, actually, because the tanks aren't even sieged yet. Lair is going down at the expo. I like that for uh, Ether. Folk telling him basically that I have a lair now. Oh, is that a hive or a lair? I can't tell. Um, I, I don't see it on the production. It's tab. a lair. It is a lair right now. You can click on it and it's a lair. So the Zerglings are there. It looks like he's getting a spire. So it's going to be some mutalist, baneling, and zergling kind of build going on from Ether, which is very, very common against Terran. But if the Terran goes down some Marauders as well, or it looks like he's just getting reactors on these, uh, a couple reactors on these barracks, and he's going to force those Zerglings out of there. So he's going to be doing the same kind of build, Marine Marauder, Siege Tank, excuse me, Marine, Siege Tank, and Medivac. 
And Burrow is also on the way, so maybe some deadly Greenland mines if these uh, Banelings can burrow. He'd be very effective if he could. Those Zerglings also could burrow and force those... Oh, those two Marines that the Zeldnagar are going to take out. And oh, force yeah. those, um... Force into a surround, basically, from those Zerglings. That poor Overlord, is it going to escape? No, it's going to get taken out. Yes, it does, but... Um, <clears throat> the Zerg player... Uh, who is it? Ether, yeah. Not anywhere close to supply blocked. Uh, we do see the plus one attack upgrade coming out right now for our Terran player. As well as stim on the way. That is very late stim timing, I believe. Uh, but, you know, um, little, I'm A sure. little late, but you have to also remember that the third base is going down for the Zerg player right now, so he's droning up more than building up an army. He is getting six Mulus and eight Zerglings, but he is also droning up more as well. It looks like a... Oh, this is a little push. Ooh, the Bailings are going to... Nice bird, Bailings. Nice burrowed, perfectly burrowed. They're probably going to move into the marine ball and try to take out his, those marines that are... Now would be a good time to swarp in those mutilists and take out those tanks that are sieged there. Now that these tanks are unseaged, it'd be a great time for those bailings to kind of move in and uh, into that ball mixture there. Or even try to take some of... So we're going to see some uh, deadly Greenland mine almost. Those mutilists are going to be there, probably going to swat some of those tanks when they're not with their marines. I'm really liking that build that uh, Ether's going right now. Yeah, it's going to be interesting oh, to see what Brent does uh, once he... Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this! Look at this, the Banelings are burrowed, the Zerg, the, they're going to be taking out... Go, the mutilists are going to be trying to take out this expansion that's going down from Wreck right now. Ether's doing really well, actually, against Wreck right now, I have to say. And those, those, Zerg, those Banelings burrowed there. So if he tries to move out with those marines... He could probably force those bailings to explode on them. <gasps> the tanks are out of position. Oh, there's the... Oh, man. Uh -oh. There's the... Boom! Oh, wow. Nice. Mine. Oh, my goodness. So now he realizes there is Burrow and there is Banelings and Zerglings here probably to clean this mess up. The Banelings are going to be coming in, but there's going to be the Zerglings and the Mutilists there. They're going to be trying to attack and take out these units here. It looks like they're going to take them out just dandy. Oh, wow. Wow. And that medevac is not going to make it. No, that is that was a uh -oh, really good... Uh oh check out in the Terran's Natural, there's three burrowed banelings where his army oh, is. Oh, man. Oh, they this can get, might they be can bad. This if, could, if look, he he's got them selected. Uh-oh. If he gets those... No. Oh, he did not. He probably forgot about it, maybe. So it looks like there's going to be another push going on from Wreck right now with those Marines and tanks. He should have popped those uh, banelings a little later. I mean, a little sooner. I believe so. There is a perfect moment when they walked right over that. That it could have happened. That, 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 one, that one landmine did so much damage to those uh, marines when they first did it. Oh, man. He really almost needs a raven out right now because they'd be so helpful, especially to see the burrowed units. Yeah, we see Baneling speed out on the way now as well. Just Actually, I think, what, I think what Ether's doing... It just finished up. Yeah, you're right. But I think what Ether's doing is keeping those um, Banelings there to see when the Terran player moves out. Nice scan. Oh, oh the scan oh, went wow. down. Perfect scan. Got one Marine with that Baneling butt burst. But still, the Zerglings and the Banelings are going to be rushing in here with the speed! Oh my oh, goodness, no. so many Banelings! There's only one tank there to take them out, too, and, this, and the Mutals are there to take out that tank. Oh man, Wreck might be defeated here. Very good play by Ether, I agree, yeah. This is going to be crazy. I keep switching back to those Banelings in the Terran's main just to I think, see. Yeah, like I said, I think he's just using them to see when the Terran moves out. I wish as spectators that we could hotkey something to keep popping back to it. We can hotkey screen positions, maybe. You can. You use the F, I think so. Yes, you can hotkey screen positions. Very cool. So oh, we like can really hotkey matters. those. So it oh, looks like there's going to be a drop. Oh, now, those Banelings are going to see that, though, because they're burrowed. You see that? Yeah. So, actually, he's probably just using them for scouting. Oh, oh he barely. Just one. Just one. Just one. Eva Wild Fury saying, wow. <laughs> this is just this is just like the song. I'm going to play that song for you guys after this. Banelings, Banelings, Banelings. So there's going to a drop going to be going down here at the same time, probably a two-prong attack because mm -hmm. there's moving out as well. And just and as for scouting information also. But the third see. base is coming down as well from uh, Wreck. He's gonna oh he's gonna take out that expansion right there. Ooh, oh, it had to get canceled nice, from. Nice cancel. I thought he was gonna let it finish and then take it out. Ooh, those mutilists are gonna come in there when that ta those tanks are un unguarded by those marines. Oh, and here's the drop behind the um, behind the I don't know the exhaust line. 
running in, maybe snipe some overlords. Let's see what he does.